it's the right day because I have my thing. I just realised how ambitious I was when I went back on my like uh, on my uh, phone list because I was like, oh yeah, it was like last week. And I was like, oh, it must be ages ago. And I was like, oh yeah, I don't talk to anyone. It's right at the top. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, Fifi. Fuck you, it's fine at the moment. Sparkly moo hair. Oh, hello. Um, I was wondering if you could possibly help me. Um, I have an appointment with um, uh, Sheila at um, 11 o'clock, but I've tried to t um, press the link on the um, uh, meeting uh, request, but it, it hasn't sent me through to the video call. Oh, right, okay. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Okay, thank you. Sorry, wrong number. Thank you, bye. What was that number, though? It's gonna be the next number. Good luck with your swallowing thing. Right, thank you, you I'll big keep flirt. Her out for some choking noises. <laughs> I don't know if there's any chicken. Oh, hello. Um, I was wondering if you could help me. Um, I've got an appointment with, with uh, Sheila at 11 o'clock. I've tried to press the link I was given for the uh, video for a video call conference and um, it hasn't gone through. Uh, yeah, you can. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Eleanor Shargle. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Helps, doesn't it? <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you ever so much. Sorry to be a bother. Wow, that's some loud music. That music's like so. Hello, Eleanor. Hello. Hi Sheila, it's Eleanor here. I've tried pressing the um, accept button for my uh, appointment, but it didn't go through. Um, nothing. <laughs> I accepted it and it disappeared. <laughs> um, uh, yes, I believe. Yeah, if I just put you on speakerphone. Yep, yeah, hold on. I. I you just, got the email. Uh, yes, I've got the email. Uh, yeah, no, I've got the email. Okay, so if you go scroll down on the email and just do the um, uh, join Microsoft Teams meeting. Yeah. And click on that instead. Okay. It's not entirely obvious <laughs> what you need to do. Oh, yeah. If you click on that, is, are you on a laptop or on a phone? A phone. Okay, so you're doing it on the phone you're speaking to me on. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. It might ask you to download an app. Okay. Um, I Microsoft can do that. that. It should prompt you along that once you once you've clicked on that link. Um, so it's it's just got NHS with a blank screen. NHS with a blank screen. Um, so what on the email? It just says NHS. No, so I, I press the email. I press the um, where it says join Microsoft Team. I press yeah, the link. Yeah. And the links just sent me to a blank page. Oh. That's weird. Oh, Don't okay. worry, I let can go to the it. app store if that's let easier. Let me send it again. Let me send it again and um, just try try again. See Brilliant. If, will, if this one works, okay, I'll just going kind to of send it through. Thank you ever so much. Uh, Sorry to be a bother. No, I'll forward it to me as well. I'm going to send it. an update. I think it will be. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> and then it should open up an option to open up in browser or download an app or it might just ask you to download an app i'm still finding my way with this um no no don't worry what i've got I, what what i'll do is I'll, I'll forward it to my um carer as well and then he's got a different phone so then maybe it'll work right. on his phone <laughs> yeah maybe i mean like yeah it's just a bit of a boy to discovery for me because everybody that um gets onto it seems to get get through on a different route but oh I'll bless you <laughs> Yeah, well, I, um, yeah, I've, I, it's one of those things, I, isn't it? Technology is brilliant until it doesn't work. Yeah, <laughs> I, know, I know. I do have a backup option if 
this doesn't work. Um, but, um, oh, hold on, did I just, I, yeah, I did send you the right one. Yeah, I did, so I've got a patient's one over. Um, but yeah, I think I sent you. Brilliant, thank you. An update. Yeah. That come through? It has indeed. Okay, so just don't, don't accept it, just join Microsoft. I got your acceptance, so that came through to me, but I just, just don't worry about accepting it, just click on that link again, join Microsoft Teams meeting. Yeah. Oh, well, uh. Anything different? Yes. I've actually got a link now that I'm downloading. Oh, thank goodness Great. for that. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad, glad to hear that. Okay. Excellent. So a link that you're downloading. Yeah. Do, well, luckily, don't worry, it won't take too too long because my my, my uh, internet's not that bad here. Okay, great. Is that, was it a link or was it a... Um, um, it was an app. So, so the app. yeah the okay. if you um, the yeah. app store it's called Microsoft Teams Hub for Teamwork yeah. if that helps. That's right. Yeah. 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 yeah that's fine. Just that double check. I've got the right one. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's almost downloaded now, so it won't be two seconds. Uh, okay, no worries. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Sorry to be a bother. Okay. Do you want to, yeah, call me back if it doesn't go through. I'll I'll admit you to the meeting when I see you. Brilliant. Thank you ever so much, Sheila. Sorry okay, to be a no pain. Problem. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye. Nothing in life is easy. Oh. Okay. I was going to give you straight back to my sister. That's fine. She's down to do a taxi take for her. Uh, uh. That's a good game for you, see, then that's fine. That's loud. Wow. <laughs> You're such a bullshit. Just a doubting comments. Hello. Nice to put a face to the name. I have indeed. Yep, he's just he's just dutifully making me a cup of tea. Bless him. <laughs> this is Nick. Nick. Hello. I'm nice. I'm Nick. Nice to meet you. Nick. My name's Nick Nicholas. Hello, Sheila. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So I've got food prepared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely no problem. I'll just make sure I take the tray off so I'm not too busy concentrating up in my mouth and multitasking there. <laughs> oh, sorry, Nick's come with the bright light so you can see better. <laughs> Yeah, 
think it's probably easier to see. <laughs> Actually, because Nick's probably better to answer that. He's yeah. Okay. So there, I, I've I've been watching this, and there is a pattern yeah. to it. Uh, pattern, what, okay. Yeah. So when she's tired. Yeah. Okay. She can't sort. So um, everything's moving the way it should, but when it gets yeah. down to just beneath the Adam's apple, it, it's not moving. It's like the yeah. um, it's it's like peristalsis yeah. isn't happening. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and is that. It, is, it, is it kind of like about? Yes, that? that's right. Yeah. Is just just. Like yeah, and then. Yeah, and the yeah, same as she's she's there. got um, uh, her thyroid's a bit bigger than it should be, and she's got a few cysts in it. But the one thing I have noticed uh, is when she puts her, her her chin back, she actually struggles to breathe. Never mind swallow; she can't swallow. So if you put your head, so if you put so it back, if I, like, if I if I like do a talk as I put it back, so basically I get to about that level, and I can't really talk very much. Yeah, yeah. And have you ever? <laughs> Um, I ha I think it was a couple. Oh, it must have been a year. It was about a year, year, was about about a year two, and a half ago, yeah, two, years two years ago. ago they did a um, um, ultrasound on it and a barium swallow test. I did as yeah. well. Um, That's right. And yeah, they found yeah. I think they found a couple of nodules. But nothing big. Yeah, nothing like um, significant. So and of course with with the EDS, uh, I, I'm wondering whether it's yeah. not the nodules, but actually the cartilage is weak. So when she puts her head back, it's actually crushing it. Yeah. But I do yeah, know that okay. it's definitely um, swollen around like the kind of lower, I suppose like the bottom of the neck kind of area. Yeah, it's kind of, you can see. It's bigger yeah. there. You can actually see here, it's there's like a ring oh, of. Just move, it, just move the camera down a bit if you're pointing somewhere right. so I can quite see. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, just about here, you can see that yeah, ring here. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's actually quite hard. Yeah. Yeah. And it's that got, it's so, sorry, so you saw um, it's very a hard. swallow. Yeah. And you No, right? um, I didn't see an endocrinologist. They no. just kind of said that there was nodules on it. The nodules weren't big enough to worry about, so she was discharged. Okay, and has that got worse since then? I I would say it has. I'd say this looks more prominent because yeah. uh, the last so the last yeah. like six months or so, my dad, when I've been video calling, has noticed that my neck's been more swollen at the bottom. It's been swollen yeah. around my thyroid area now for about um, since two thousand and thirteen, actually, because mm. it's when my brother's got married. Yeah. And his his um, girlfriend's got thyroid problems, so she told me to check yeah, it out. Okay. And did, did, did your GP um, say anything about that when you refer when you referred to us? Um, uh, no, I don't think he did yeah. really. I think it's one of those things where uh, because I've got because I'm quite complex with lots of medical conditions because yeah. they didn't feel it was like in, like um, high highly um, a big yeah a yeah. high problem at the the time. It's got. Yeah. It's kind of gone behind the wayside, but I think it's been gradually yeah. getting worse. But I don't think I noticed it properly until I started not being able to swallow yeah. properly. If that makes sense. Yeah. yeah okay. I mean, I think it's quite a like say quite a complex picture. We may have more than one thing going on. 
on. Yeah, unfortunately, um, I'm really and we might confusing. Not get to all of it, but at least we can start maybe to rule out a few. I mean, if, if it's a muscular problem, yeah, we can certainly today we can look at whether it's a muscular problem to do with the preparation of the food and, and the holding of the drink in the mouth. Mm-hmm. What we can't really do is see what's happening lower down, but we can make a few best guesses about that from yeah. how you swallow. Um, and then that might just guide me as to where to send you next. Yeah. Did I mention that I might need to get you in for an x-ray if you're swallowing? Yes. Oh. Yeah. And how are you feeling about coming to the hospital now? I know some people are quite nervous. <laughs> Um, well, I've got face masks and things, and to be honest with you, um, I've been I've been just de- I've been debating this with my with my carer yeah. for the last week, and it's I think the problem is I think it's worth the risk because I found that I've reduced my eating when I'm alone because I'm scared. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. You're taking a few sips of drinks there. Yeah. Dry mouth, I'm afraid. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so it goes yeah. down okay if I'm um, if I'm like if if I'm almost thinking about it or to to swallow it, but if I'm say yeah. talking to somebody and 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 um, mm. um, say eating or something, I can find yeah. that 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 um, completely. Or, or you're tired. Yeah, or as soon as I'm tired. Um, so um, Nick's been taking to when I'm sore, giving me things that are really easy to eat because mm. I find that. Um, Otherwise, I find I, I feel well. I know some things get stuck in my throat because I know my medication does. Because I've got I mm-hmm. I take some medications with those gelatin capsules, yeah. And yeah. I know that they've been stuck in my throat because at times the capsules obviously melted, and then I've I've had yeah. that bitter aftertaste of meds where yeah. you're like, oh yeah. 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 So I get that quite a lot. So I've had to start taking my medication um, in the singular or double kind of tablets depending on the size mm-hmm. because I'm finding it hard to take my medication in the morning, and I I've. I was on um, oxy um, Contin quick release, um, and unfortunately, I've had to go to the liquids because um, get, swallowing the tablets is just too high risk. Because mostly when I'm in pain, I don't sleep very well, which is it's all a knock-on effect, really. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, so, so you say basically, it, it can be a bit variable, but you have to focus on your swallowing in order to make it go down. Um, Um, it's, it's so it's not so much that I'm inhaling it so the problem is that it gets stuck in my throat so I can't breathe and then I have to drink the water and then and then because of that I then cough which then I think can get a bit back in my chest so I think it's more the fact that there's something blocking the way rather than the um, um, the swallowing per se if you know what it, if that makes sense yeah Yeah. But that can then cause secondary problems if you do have a hold up there and then you breathe in, you inhale the liquid or whatever and that can then cause a choking episode. Yeah. Okay. Let's um let's carry on then with a few more sips of water. No problem. Um and see how you um <coughs> you go. <coughs> Concentrate it then on everything. <laughs> Uh, so I'm finding I get a lot of like um, so like when I swallow it it can take a while like it, uh, it's almost like reflux but it's not low enough to be reflux if you know what I mean uh, so tell me a bit more about that what does it feel like um, so it feels um, uh, it feels a little bit like um, um, so, so do you know sometimes when um, you've got like really bad gas and you burp and it kind of yeah. it, it kind of it brings up a surface of like food or something with it's kind of like that but yeah. I can it, uh, I get a lot of reflux as well but that it's right. kind of like I'll swallow but for some reason maybe I'm not I don't know what maybe I'm not swallowing it all but it seems to kind of it's the it's once I've got everything swallowed it's then afterwards that the choking seems to be induced yeah, if you know what I mean it's like it's not completely cleared and it's almost I mean it, it might well but it may be a little bit of kind of um retro flow from the top of the esophagus coming back up again yeah Yeah. 
yeah, so that was a lot harder to do. <laughs> a lot harder, yeah, okay. Um, and did you have to do that in two swallows, or was that one um, quite soon? That was two swallows, and um, I suppose I've also had to be a, a, I've had to increase my antiemetics because um, I don't yeah. know whether it's um, it's the reflux or it's the the choking, but I find that I've, I'm throwing up a lot more than I used to as well. Right. So I'm, I'm not yeah. sure if it's yeah. connected or okay. not though. Okay, so small back, just more single sips. Just take a couple more. Forms. <laughs> okay, so you're going to be Yeah, so I think maybe it's like there's air bubbles when I'm swallowing, so then if I've yeah. got other liquid in the mouth, it then disrupts the flow, I think. Sure, yeah, yeah, okay. That's really helpful, thank you. Okay, what have you got to read there? Um, I have, um, uh, we... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nick's Nick's picked me out a breakfast for a breakfast for threats. <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got very sticky um, rum cake. I've got some um, chewy bread and um, and then something that I find a bit easier, which is the sugar waffles because it's because um, okay. they're okay. softer. Okay. Do you fancy trying uh, something? What do you fancy trying first? Um, yeah, shall we go for the hard first, shall we? <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's let's start off as we as we mean to go on, shall we? So um, the the bread is harder for chewing, but the cake's harder for swallowing. I assume, but we'll find okay. out. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the ciabatta bread, first of all. Okay. That's oh, gonna kill me. <laughs> Spit that last bit out. Right. Oh. Oh. Can't, can't eat that. No, nope, sorry, can't eat that. Sorry, yeah. Sheely, didn't need to see that. It's a bit gross. Um, yeah, so I, I find, I find like, I, I don't know whether it's because of my medication, I find that um, I, I can't swallow without liquids most of the time yeah. these days. Um, but I think because that was quite doughy so I suppose it, it gathers so it's quite kind of lumpy when when yeah, you swallow it down yeah. I, I I was finding it wasn't quite going down so I had to try yeah. and drink more water but then I, I don't know whether it's because I'm n not being careful enough when I'm swallowing the water that makes me choke but, well, but I, I mean, it kind of felt like, like it was say, stuck if you know what I mean it's a bit of a it's a bit one of those kind of myths really that swallowing water can help well sometimes it can mm. sometimes Coke, I have found Coke's the most effective. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like it feels it feels like that kind of lump in your throat just don't like there kind of um, just where the top of you kind of your your clavicle kind of meets your neck if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. It's about as medical as I get. Sorry, <laughs> I don't even know if they were the right medical terms, but I'm going with them. Um, so that was the medium thing. I would say the um, the um, um, a Jamaican ginger cake is probably going to be the hardest. <laughs> going to be the hardest, okay. Well, just go carefully, chew it really well. Yeah, do you know what? I might, I'm might. i going to go for a smaller bite this time. I'm going to be less ambitious. Mm. Okay. Here he goes.
excuse me, sorry. Did that clear then? Yeah, so I've, yeah. yeah, so I, it's, it seems to swallow to a certain degree, but then it gets to around about here. And if yeah. I find it, uh, I find it difficult then, because if I don't, I need to get it down because I can't breathe properly, if that makes sense. Yeah, 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 okay. <coughs> I, think, I think it's that, yeah. <coughs> Robinson design. As an engineer, yeah. I hate it. It's always yeah. the smallest bits of the body that give you the most problems, I find. My sugar waffles, my go-to, because I suppose okay. it's, it's it's easier yeah. to chew because it kind of melts. It's bad food, basically beige food, sugary yeah. food, and fizzy food. Beige, beige food, did you say? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I find so I find like if the if it's like a vegetable or something like that, I find that's more likely to be a risk factor for choking. Whereas like say mashed potato isn't, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's all about softness of how yeah. well they're cooked. Isn't mm. it? Yeah, stuff that flows. Stuff that flows. I think so because I'm go I do get a lot of um, jaw problems. Do you? Mm. Okay. But I also, know. I also think it's to get it to a consistency where you can now swallow it. Mm. So you have to chew it and turn it. I, I, I think it's because she actually chews it because she has to get it in the right consistency to be yeah. able to swallow yeah. it. Whereas you and I could tolerate a bit more yeah. roughness of food. I think she has to get it sort of pureed, if you like. Yeah. I mean, we all do that naturally anyway. Yeah. That's what our mouths do. They kind yeah. of prepare the food and, and get it ready to swallow. But obviously, if you've got muscle weakness or tiredness or fatigue, then that's going to take, take more energy. And, and, and as the meal goes on, that's going to get harder and harder work, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, so softer foods are easier to chew down. <coughs> No al dente. Will probably be easier. Yeah. Easier on, easier to start with. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. So here's my sugar waffle ready for action. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cheers.
Oh it's not it, that was only the last bit so I suppose I'll take that I take yeah. that as a win these days. <laughs> yeah, I mean for me although that, that, that was e that, that feels easier, I'm still thinking that that's still quite challenging mm. for you. Well, I suppose I am. I'm. I'm definitely finding that I'm. I'm not eating as much of my meals as I used to these days. And no. I, I. I just kind of. It just. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Can Can I Can I suggest a bit of a, a bit of a change? Maybe it might be. It might be that you need to look at your. Am I going to be a soup girl? Your meals all together, and just maybe go for a complete change in the foods that you have. Greatest fan of milk, um, but you know, if it's it, if like cream or custard or yogurt or something that yeah, kind of yogurt's a good idea, actually. Down a yeah, bit, because that will really, <coughs> I think, um, reduce this. But I would go softer the better at the moment until we know, yeah, really where you're at. Um, I think that, and I think that will possibly keep your calorie intake up, lower the. Effort level, yeah. Hopefully, lower the fatigue level as well of eating, and yeah. Give you a little bit of an enjoyment back. I know it means maybe changing. I mean, what, 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 can I ask you what your typical um, meals would be? Yeah, well, to be fair, we do quite a lot of um, stews, stews and pastas and that kind of thing. We've we, we I got a pot, uh, an Instapot for um, Christmas, so we've been trying out quite a lot of um, slow cook stuff, which is perfect because it, yeah, it's all. That is good, yeah. <laughs> So yeah. I should um, um pressure cooker. Uh, yeah, we do. I do. We do a lot of pasta in sauces and things. But yeah. I, okay. I, I have noticed that you know we try and um, eat uh, before I get too tired because that's mm -hmm. that's that's yeah, a massive definitely. factor. Sometimes that's changing the the order of your meals. So sometimes having a bigger meal at lunchtime and a, yeah, I don't know if that's your more tired yeah. time or you know. Yeah, no, it's a good yeah. idea. I definitely get more tired as the day progresses, unless I've had a yeah. bad night's sleep, in which case I'm just tired to begin with. <laughs> yeah, no, sure. Um, uh, so at the moment, um, I'm I'm not the biggest fan of breakfast, but I've been having to um, eat it because of um, my medication. So I suppose it's either yeah. cereal or sugar waffles are my go-to. I suppose. What was the first thing you said? Cereal. Cereal, yeah. You can let I them mean, soak. I mean, there are softer cereals that will soak up the milk a bit as well. Yeah, I'm going to have to go for the pre-chewed Weetabix, aren't I? <laughs> Yogurt or something like that, yeah. Beforehand. you say that not here. well yeah but just because you're not here doesn't mean that I eat crap you're just assuming I'm a teenager um <laughs> when Jem's here I eat well <laughs> um I would say I suppose um maybe like uh a, a, well it's whatever's quick to prepare I suppose because for me it's quite hard to prepare things yeah yeah so you, you stay away from obviously bread and sandwiches that kind of thing at the moment yeah if I can help it I stay away from um that kind of thing if I can possibly yeah. help it I, I suppose well, I'd go really more for um, yeah, soup or like I suppose, um, like um, salad I go for quite a bit as well I suppose. Salad, but, yeah. yeah. Salad, is that tricky? 
Yeah, uh, it can be. So yeah, it, it's definitely. Um, the salad and then the salad, isn't there? Yes. <laughs> It's all, it's all stringy, that's the problem, isn't yeah, it, I exactly. suppose? It's fibrous, it's going to be bad news, I'd, I'd imagine. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a thing that's, that's pre-cooked, I would probably say is easier yeah. for you to eat for lunch. Um, you know, you can soak a bit of bread in the soup. Yeah. And that soften it down a bit. Um, but yes, that probably sticks to a clear of the sandwiches and the fillings at the moment. Yeah, no um, problem. And then, and then, yeah, slow cooked meals or pasta with sauce, anything like that. Yeah. The evening, but you know, <clears throat> not the al dente pasta. I'd probably go for you know softer cooked. Maybe like a pasta or, bake or, or something. Or soft rice, but with a you know sauce, lots of sauce to yeah. kind of add into it. Thank you. And yeah, I think we we definitely need to because if not, it may be that you go. So I think what we'll do is organise a. It's like a video x-ray, see like the barium swallow, it's like a still x-ray of all the different stages of the swallow, which can be really helpful. Yeah. But this actually shows like as a video going yeah. down, and it will also show going down into the esophagus some way, um, and I think from there we will know, should you then have a referral to a gastroenterologist about the esophagus, um, needing a, an opinion about that Thank you. I really do appreciate right. that, Sheila. It means, I, I it means the world. A bit of flux. We're not quite sure. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'm not expecting miracles. I'm not expecting miracles because you're massively busy at the moment. So I totally well, understand. So. To be honest, it's not so much that. It's just that everyone's really nervous about getting patients, about yeah. patients back in, and they have to kind of write all these. Um, Some. These I suppose emails. someone's got to be the first one to do it as well. Um, so. <laughs> Yeah, no, Nick. Does Nick does quite a lot of the cooking because at the moment I can't manage it. So on the plus side, I, on the plus side, Nick, Nick, <laughs> Nick circumvents my idiocy by uh, preparing <laughs> by preparing things that I won't kill myself on. So thank yeah, God for that. Is all I can say. Yeah. <laughs> it's just what having a think through all those meals and just kind of thinking what you know. Cause obviously, some things are easier to achieve than others, aren't they? And yeah. Just kind of trying to be yeah, think outside the box a little bit about things you might not have tried before, and just go. No, no, luckily, touch wood, I've, I've been pretty lucky no, on that, I've been... No, okay. <coughs> All right, so listen, I will get a quick report out to you. I'll refer you for the x-ray of your swallowing, mm -hmm. so you'll hear from... Um, but I'm not going to discharge you, I'm going to keep you on my caseload. Thank you. So if you have any problems, if things get worse, or you're worried about anything, or you want any further advice, just give me a call. Do you have my number? Uh, yes, I do. Thank you ever so okay. much, I do really appreciate no, that's that. No problem, and, um, Thank you, thank you for all of your help, and I really appreciate it because this has been worrying me for about two, three years now. So it's nice to know that it's nice to know I might actually find a reason for it. <laughs> Brilliant! Thank you ever so much, Sheila. I do appreciate it. Bye, Nick. Bye bye. <laughs> thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Have a wonderful day. She's lovely. Sounds good. Oh. <clears throat> no deep protein for you, Mr. Stokes. So it's not soft. And if it is, then we're doing it wrong. <laughs> Still recording. <laughs>
<laughs> it's a factual thing, is it not? We're adult content at this point anyway, so fuck off. <laughs> it's the worst they can fucking do. Hey, right? I'll have you know, I resisted the urge to fucking flash you because I realised we were still recording, so you can fuck right off. And the lady was talking to me, I was, I was going to be like, woo! And then I was like, oh wait, yeah, no. I have to think like a, someone who's working from home, just because I have a bare ass does not mean that everyone on the video call needs to see that shit, huh? <laughs> well, she was rather nice. Yeah, she, she's lovely. She's absolutely lovely, she was. All I can say is thank God Dr. Brown referred me because we because we said that it's been such a problem. I've had I've had so many productive referrals from him. I might just have doctor as my new doctor. Well, fucking doctor dressing was impossible to get.